I'll go get a picture by it for Instagram. Even though it's not mine. But look at that Rari. Woo! <coughs> That is one clean car. Chilling outside of the gym. Ryan, say what's up to the people. What's going on, guys? Ready got, for some squats. You got any motivational stuff to tell us? Um, wait till it gets dark. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, under the street lights. That's what we'll do. But we're going to the gym right now. Let's go. What is going on, guys? It is Michael. I have a special guest here. That's not me squatting, obviously. Ryan, checking in. Ryan is here. This is the guy you see squatting right now. You've seen him on my channel a lot. Going back to 2013. I think this is his first time speaking on the channel. Right here in front of the computer. First time. So we're going to do a one take wonder on this commentary. We just got back from doing this leg workout. He is in town. And let's talk about squats for a second, Ryan. Let's give the people some pointers. Let's try to make this video actually helpful so help people yeah so you what what is your approach to squats how do you do it and just give people a couple technique and pointers here yeah well well you mentioned when i was in the old videos we met maybe you could even find an old clip my squat used to be terrible let's you we'll know what we'll one. actually overlay a clip of his old squatting right terrible. here. terrible i used to uh kind of do definitely a wider stance squat and probably even a low bar squat but with me with my height and just kind of how i'm built i'm definitely a better high bar closer stance squatter so it's worked and definitely wearing olympic shoes has helped tremendously so i approach it with that a little bit more which has worked to my advantage a ton but if you go back and look at it old his old squat it is night it's, and it's, day uh, yeah i remember first working out with you you were a lot stronger than me but i didn't want to tell you hey it's, it's i didn't fine. want to critique your form because like you think oh man this kid's a jerk <laughs> <laughs> we're on the same page now so it's it's cool we can show it i'm not ashamed well i'm ashamed of it but not now since i fixed <laughs> you it. can look back and laugh so yeah. I did front squats today, Ryan is doing back squats, and my back, I'm not going to be making excuses here, but I helped move my girlfriend yesterday. It's Paige's fault. No, it's not, but <laughs> I had to help, and it was a lot of carrying. My back was a little sore, so I wasn't as strong as I wanted to be. I did PR here. You did. You did. 275. Imagine if you were 100%. Oh, man, 275 for at least, at least 10. <laughs> it was clean. Your front squats are better. And I, and I was telling you today, you, in your last video, you talked about maybe not or going for, I don't know, how would you say that? You're like holding it with your wrist more instead of doing the cross grip. Yeah, yeah. Which, and, and I was telling you, I think you should just stay with that. I think it's going to, because with your mobility, and if you keep going up and wait, your, your front squat's already good. I think it's going to be to your advantage to just stay with what you're doing, honestly. I probably need to because I, I can't imagine, like you were saying, having 500 pounds if I ever get there. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> or even 315 on my wrist like that. And you're still warming up here. So as you guys can tell, Ryan is a lot stronger than me. This is, what, 405? Yeah, just look at this depth right here. It's good. It's I'm a lot, like I said, a lot happier with, with uh, you're getting, progress. getting cocky on the warm up, pause it at the bottom. <laughs> and this is my PR set right here. Looks good. So we'll just roll the clip and let you let you hear it live action. So it was good. It was. It was good. Excellent. Not my proudest moment, but I, I got it up, and that's really all that matters. And yeah. now finally... Now I'm finally doing some work. What are we, sets. like four minutes into the video, and yeah. Ryan is just now doing a working set? I take set. a long time to, to uh, warm up. I don't know. We did a lot of mobility stuff beforehand. Got the lacrosse balls, the resistance bands, and the hip circle from how much you bend. Just I got, I full warm up here. So three reps. Look at that. It felt good. You know, I'm used to squatting a lot more. Um, actually, I kind of took my calories back a little bit for a few weeks. So I'm kind of in a surplus again. So I'm starting to get my strength back a little bit, but I wasn't overall not a bad day. And talk about this clip right here. So what am I doing right now? You're you're hiding. What you did was you broke an ammonia strip, you shoved it almost up my nose. <laughs> it's good. If you guys haven't tried them, uh, you can find them online. Is what every once in a while I got a pack of fifty on Amazon. That's probably gonna last me for like the rest of my life. Yeah, be because you don't use it every single. No, set. Will, that would lead to that'll blow you out. CNS burnout. Yeah. But this is the set right here where. I thought you were about to shed a tear. I, right I there. literally did. My left eye started watering. That's like the highlight of the workout. It was just his left eye, and it looked like it was <laughs> crying. I didn't know what it was. 
the games. Were, it was so emotional. We've got so many sets of your squad yeah. here. It's, I feel I really left you. out I, I because it's just that. a lot of a lot of footage. Ryan's channel is down below in the description, yes, by the way. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Shameless plugs. Go. <laughs> but look at his little jig. Why do you do that with your feet? Okay. Though? Yeah, it's, it does look weird, but it's something because you want your shins and your toe toes to be pointing in the same direction so it's just something that helps make sure i'm in position it does look weird but uh yeah it helps me a lot maybe i don't know if you guys if you're kind of a closer stance squatter it's something that helps me like you and just look at this just the set of how many was this 10 uh something like that it wasn't just bad repping it out when i get fatigued my my butt pops up um yeah but it's one of those things you're always look at that it's good having, yeah having having film helps you kind of see where you still you know, need to make improvements, so... Yeah, so moving on. We're done with the squats, finally. Finally. A lot of squats today. Like, we probably squatted for, like, 45 minutes. Yeah. We were here for, like, an hour at this point. And we moved on to leg press. So Ryan gave me a couple nice tips on the leg press. I actually ended up doing more weight and yeah. feeling it more in my yeah. quads. So explain that to me. Yeah, you. so what a lot of people do is... You guys probably see this all the time, and you might even do it yourself. They keep their hips open, and they have their feet spread a, spread a lot. And it does. It feels... You feel more stable. You feel like you can do more weight. But, I mean, the purpose of the leg press is to put the tension on your quads. So having your feet a little bit closer together and really shoving your butt into the pad and using those handles to your advantage to keep your butt against the pad is going to help keep that tension on those quads. So before, I always had my butt off of the pad yes. a little bit. It wasn't yeah. sitting on the bottom part. Yeah. And doing so, you're going to pull in your glutes a little more, which really you don't want to do. You want that tension to be on those quads. And the leg press just ended up aggravating my hip. Yeah. A whole lot. Yeah, I remember also, years or what? Not years ago, but like last years year. Years ago. What is this? <laughs> you used to always complain <laughs> about that. Back in the day, <laughs> you, you used to always complain about your lower back hurting, and we wouldn't even do leg press. No, like, no. yeah. So just a lot to work on. Yeah, lifting weights. It's always a work in progress. It has to be. It has I'm to be. Far from perfect. Ryan is far from perfect. Yeah. Well, closer to perfect than I am, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the outlook you have to have, though. It really is. We're getting there. So this the hack squat machine. A couple nice. It's nicer tips. than one. It's nicer than the one I have. Great machine, just to burn out. Constant tension is the key yeah. here, and this is the marathon set. This it's, is this is the CrossFit, the CrossFit set of the workout. What you guys, what we didn't record is he actually jumped into kips right after kipping, this. and then double unders. From there, I grabbed. There's a handle on the right side of the screen. I grabbed that hammer and I started hitting the the mirror. That's why the mirror's broken. So <laughs> just an all around good workout. The glute ham race. The glute hammer. Well. You say that um, you don't really want to target your glutes on this, but there's a little metal plate in the back, which if you press all your weight into that plate, and then it's going to help put more stress on those hamstrings. This which, is my first time doing the machine. Yeah, I've done it yeah. one time before, but it's very uncomfortable as it a is. male. It is, yeah. It puts Sometimes. a lot of pressure you on... Have to, you have to get in the right position. Let's just, we'll say that. Otherwise, it'll crush you. It'll really mess you up. But yeah. once you get in the right position, it's all hamstrings. It is. You were explaining is. to me... You know, the hamstring is like the bicep like the bicep. of the legs. It is. So just squeeze them with the same purpose. A lot of people neglect them, obviously, because it's not your quads. You don't see them and, and this and that. But it, it helps if you focus in the right fashion. What exercise is this? What what muscle are you working out here? You don't you know, see muscle, a lot of this you know, on YouTube. You really, I mean, really don't. You could just wear pants, just tapered sweatpants and, and instead, if, and you would never have to work on your quads. Yeah, you don't. And then... Like, so what? So what is this? Explain to the people that don't know what this is. This is what are you working out? I, this is just I, a little uh, little I'm, calf work. I'm kind of stumped still. Oh, okay. But then you explained it to me. I ended up doing it, and my calves are slowly making progress. They're getting there. All the way at the top. All the way to the top. Contract. You notice like they contract a little bit, and then I try to take it that extra yep. inch, because that extra inch makes a big difference. That's all that matters. That, that's another. That's, that's what, what she, she said. said coming in. But stretching out the quads. Contracting the quads, oh. and do you have any final words? Final words for the quads? No, I said quads. You did. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you're like, what? Yeah, what? Sorry. Do you have any final words for the people? Um, no, man. We got to come back. We got to do this a lot more. So. Do you guys like this casual dual commentary style of video? Because it's fun for me to make. It's easy to do. It's a lot more laid back. It's like a coffee chat. Yeah. So if you guys want to see more of these, leave a like. Please. And we will start making these maybe once a month. He lives in Oklahoma City. I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, so it's always, you know, difficult to coordinate it. It's not a long trip. It's just, you know, obviously in a day's travel, it makes it a little hard. Yeah. Like going to OKC and back in one day was, it was a lot, but it was yeah. fun. Yeah. But that's it for the video. They're probably looking at a black screen right now. Like the video. Please do. If you liked it, like it. I think Michael might possibly put my channel down there. 
maybe, <laughs> if you're lucky. I do appreciate it very much. But so. if you guys want to check out his channel down below in the description, my best friend right here, good training partner, I had him for over a year in Joplin, so check him out. You've seen him in the videos, and check out the videos on the screen coming up. Guys, thanks for watching. Drop that beat.